unfortunate. And Wayne joins us live in Sacramento with more on how you can help out. Good morning. It's so amazing how he's gotten the entire community to come and help him. So we're here at Acme Chiropractic, and this is what they've hauled in so far. That's at least 2,000 canned goods, non-perishables. By the way, unperishable is not a word. We were talking about that earlier. Somehow that came out of my mouth. Not accurate. So this is the sixth year Cameron Dex has done that. Cameron, you need to come here and talk for us because we need to know why you decide to do this and how crazy it's gotten because it started out with just a few hundred cans. Yeah. So tell me about how this all started. Well, it started because I wanted to give the people on the streets and the people that didn't have food peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and that was probably not a smart idea because it was probably dangerous. To go on your own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I started um, donating cans to the uh, our local food bank so I didn't have to go on the streets passing out peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, which wasn't safe. Yeah, so now it's turned into a huge competition, right? And this year, yeah. we have 13 businesses participating, right? Yeah. So do you want to call in Dr. West now? Dr. Yeah. West is one of the originals, right? Come on over. So you started this uh, when he first started. How did you decide to, to go and throw yeah. in your hat? You know, just my patients are really kind, and they always want to give um, to those that are less fortunate. And when we were doing our own canned food drive, we hardly got any. And as soon as I bring a cute kid in the mix that does It changes this, things. It's totally a game changer. changer. Just things. look at that face, everybody, right there. Just smile <laughs> for him, Cam. <laughs> and then my patients just go crazy, and this is what we've collected so far. And there's still plenty of time. So if my patients are out there listening, there is plenty of time till the 15th of this month. And I'm going to throw my hat in and my support for um, Dr. West because he's told me he's an original, and he has never received one of the winnings. The painting. Cameron, he's an award-winning painter. You see that one on the left? Actually won uh, the SAC B uh, contest last year. So just to know, so you know, he is, it, we called you Cameron Van Gogh, which explains <laughs> this next photo, or next piece of artwork right here to the right. It's called Sunflowers, and it is based off of Van Gogh, right, Cam? Yes. Yes. So the winner of this year's competition, whoever collects the most, gets a painting. And you want to do your pitch effort to get people to bring stuff in for you? Intense. because Intense. Yes. Yes. Intense. Until the 15th of December, we are still collecting any non-perishable food item. And we've also seen uh, some oh, yeah. Halloween we'll, candy. We'll take some candy, we'll too. Take Halloween candy, as well. <laughs> And I also wanted to mention, if you're worried about being difficult, uh, have, being it a difficult thing to give, Cam's dad mentioned, uh, I think Winco is having a sale, 33 cents a can for canned vegetables. Oh. So it makes it really easy. You can easily pick up a few and drop it off, right? So we made it really easy for you guys. Come on down. We have till the 15th, right? You want to give them last pitch um, to say to donate and make sure you, you give them a good smile so they, they think your face is cute and they're like, bring more food. Uh, good so. point. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and go ahead and just tell people why you want them to support you. Um, I like it when people support me because it helps hungry people and it makes me happy that other people are getting as much food as I am. Oh, that's a good one. And how can you say no to that? You can. You cannot <laughs> say no. Well, Look at that smile. You good job. <laughs> Excellent work. What a cutie pie. All right, Matt. Thanks so much. Thanks. Look at him. Why have you got so scared? <laughs> thanks, Matt. He's like, I'm out. I'm out.